Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be building a calculator desktop app using React, White, as well as Electron, obviously. So let me give a brief demo of what we're building. We'll be having a basic calculator app, which has it does basic calculations. We can do it from from the buttons as well as from the keyboard events, keyboard itself as well. So for this, what we're doing instead of doing manual configuration and doing a lot of configuration there, we'll be using a tool which is called Electron White, which is going to help us uh, do a lot of this basic scaffolding of our project. Uh, it has a tons more features. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to explore them as well. But anyway, in this video, we'll be just be focusing on our this desktop application. Okay. So for that, we need to copy this command. Okay. And let me come back here. Type it. I'll be writing calculator react. It's going to be react. No, 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 no. npm i uh, let it install in the meantime we can explore the project so we'll be just uh, deleting a lot of stuff here let me come to index.html nothing here specifically assets index.css i'll be putting my own styles i'll not be going through a lo lot of the styles part some some basic css let me but walk you th through it with them okay uh, first let me delete all of the stuff versions app.jsx delete complete let me just remove this also nothing but hello world remove this as well okay and let me walk you through the index devices. I'm doing basic recess of padding, margin, box, and border box, HTML, body, width, and height, as well as in index.html, no, main.js6. I have the root. So let me add here also. And uh, let me walk you through the basic CSS. Uh, basically, this is what will be the container whole section. Okay. Then we have result country, which is nothing but the white area. Okay, and inside it we have the result span, which is nothing but this. And row is basically the rows of buttons, and the buttons are just buttons. Okay, so that is it for basic styling. You can check out what I've done. Just some basics. Yes, I've done. It. Okay, so now let me come here and let me close this off. Okay. Let me run it and let's see what happen, what we get as the output. As you can see, we have the electron hello world. Okay, so let me come here first of all. Do some minor changes here. Uh, not this file. It should be sorry. Let me keep it open. Let me come here. It should be what calculator react. Okay, and now with regards to electron, I'll be doing this specific stuff with electron. Okay, rest the whole uh, video will be most about more about Java, uh, more about React and uh, just to make it work in uh, Electron, nothing much. So the main Electron part which will be touching it now is this main your JS. This guy place, I guess, yeah. So uh, as you can see, VS Code has this uh, window. Okay, this is nothing but you can say browser window in one way, which has a width, height, and some other options as well. So width is nothing but the width, and height is nothing but the height, and uh, so we'll be basically modifying those nothing much specifically done here okay and i'll be giving it the value of 350 okay here let me give it 410 and i'll be making resizable as false the resize false is basically going to disable the min minimize maximum option as well as going to basically not allow you to resize the window obviously so as you can see now you can do minimize maximize okay but now if I close it and rename it again, as you can see, I can't do minimize maximum and I can't resize also. Okay, and I have this minimum with height and height. This is a basic electron which we have. This is the only part where we are touching electron, honestly speaking. Okay, so uh, this video is never meant to be basically going deep down in electron because electron is washed in one way. It has a lot of stuff. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you would like me to go more deep into electron side also. Okay, maybe building application. Let me know in the comments just. Okay, I'll see if what can be done on that. Anyway, for this video, let us again come back to it. I guess let's focus on this.
So now we can come back uh, and just create a component which is going to be calculator. Uh, not sure why. Anyway. Okay. And let me come here and write RBFC. Okay. And I think again some issue with CRF. Yeah. Not sure why it comes again and again. Anyway, first of all, we can write some basic markup here. Uh, for the markup, I'll be copying it from the previous video which I had done for vanilla JavaScript because it's nothing fancy here. I'll just walk you through it basically what I've done here. But let me come here and just paste it for now. Okay. And for class also, I need to change everywhere class name. Okay, done so this is it and yeah let me walk you through like I told you previously we'll be having and let me uh, come back first here and just calculator refresh as you can see let me walk you through it now where is it here yeah, here so we'll be having our container okay and it will contain result container it will have the result which will, will, will be populating here, okay? Nothing, don't worry about that. Then we'll be having rows of buttons, which is nothing but this. And we'll be using data value, okay? So what's the use of data value is like, each button, whenever we click on it, we would like to know which, what button has been clicked, okay? Uh, and we'll be only having event listener only in the container, not on each buttons. Instead of having multiple event listeners on each button, I am keeping only one event listener on the container. So we would need some way of identifying it. So the user can click on here, here, anywhere. So we would need some kind of unique way of identifying it. So we'll be using data sets, attributes, okay? So in here, I'll be using value and assigning these values. It'll become more clear if you have not watched my previous videos. It'll become more clear when I write a code for this. Um, but I'm just explaining the intuition now. So uh, we'll be having these values, okay? And we'll be using these values to identify which button has been clicked. And based on that, we can perform certain actions. Like for equal, we'll be evaluating expression for buttons or for basically operators will be basically appending it to a string of expression etc okay um, so this was the main uh, markup okay let me now come with the logic part okay so first of all uh, let me first create something using use state It will be what expression and it will be what set expression. It will be an empty string. Okay, and I'll be creating some functions. Let calculate expression equal to value. Okay. So what this will do is like it's gonna first check whether it's a, there is a value or not. Uh, basically, what it's gonna do is like it's gonna check these values. If value equal equal c, then it's basically gonna clear the expression. The expression is what is gonna be displayed on the UI. Okay, in this location, like I told you previously. Uh, to be very clear, let me write expression here only. I think I'm going with the view syntax. Anyway, this should be the one. Anyway, yeah, set expression. I'll make it empty string. Okay. Now else if value equal 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 or value equal 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 enter. Just ignore the terminal. Okay. Um, just focus on where I'm typing. Set expression, expression. And for this, we'll be using eval. Honestly speaking, it's not uh, the optimal way. I'm, anyway, I'm not trying to build a production calculator and desktop application. It's mainly for learning. So that's why I'll be using eval because that's the easiest way to do the evaluation of an expression. Okay.
and these are all values like backspace, enter, and all. These are the, just the key codes. Okay, whenever we basically type from the uh, from the keyboard, we'll be basically listening for these. And if there is any, if the user has typed any of these keys, we'll be basically performing those actions. That's it. And whenever basically will be evaluating expression whenever the user has typed equal, if basically has clicked on button equal or has typed enter, and otherwise whenever the user basically clicks on backspace or delete or whatever, like in here we have backspace as we have noticed it, is it backspace? So when I, um, that is done, or otherwise the delete is done, otherwise the backspace from the keyboard has been typed or pressed, then basically it's gonna remove the last character. Okay, that's it. And by default, if it's any of the else, like adding an operator or number, etc., we'll be just doing concatenation. Expression plus value, I guess. Yeah. This is it. And now let me do, let me make it work for now. Okay. So on click. Okay, one more thing. I need to write some other function also. Let me write first handle button click. Okay. And let me write the code for this also. Like at handle button click equal to what E. Let value equal to E dot target dot data set dot value. Okay. And if we have any value, only then call the calculate expression with the value. Okay. So what it is basically doing is like, see, uh, like I told you previously, uh, let me do one thing. Uh, let me log it. Console.log value. Okay. Let me come here, control shift I, open a dev tools. Oh, let me refresh it. It's shouting for the refreshes. Okay, that's working fine. Now let me come here and nine. As you can see, nine has come up. Okay, and when I pressed on this edge case, basically the uh, the basically the event destination is resting on the container. Okay, so anywhere it can be pressed on, but we don't want it to be done like for anywhere. We only want for the button. We only want to listen for changes. Basically, the presses when the user basically clicks on the buttons. So for that reason. I'm checking extra whether if value is there or not. Basically, the user has clicked on these buttons or not in the first place. And if the user has clicked, only then we'll be evaluating the expression. Okay. So this is it and calculate expression value. And it should be what expression only, I guess. Let's see now what happens. Yeah, anyway, it's working fine. 9, 6, 3 plus 6 equal. Okay, let's see what happened. As you can see, see it's saying eval error refers to evaluate section as answer. Basically, it's saying like uh, and it's not good to ev do eval, and, con and that's why content security policy is not allowing us to do. But anyway, we'll be just going ahead with it. So for that reason, what I'll do is like I would need to add uh, something in the index.html file in the content security header, I guess meta tag. Anyway, as you can see here, where is the script self? Yeah, and save eval. That's what we are going to be typing it because that was there. Okay, let us come back here now. And it's gonna anyway shout at us, but we can ignore it. 14 minus 3, 6. Uh, I'm not handling for those edge cases, which we can ignore for now. Okay, and what? 3, 18. Okay, so this is working fine now. Okay, let us come back here. So we have only handled for the scenarios of what uh, uh, UI, okay, not from the keyboard. So we need to add for, we need to account for those also now. So we can come back and write logic for that also now. So let's start writing handle key down.
let value e dot key if value equal 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 enter then we we don't want to handle basically we want to prevent the default behavior of enter that's it that's what you're trying to do here prevent default behavior of enter and we are going to create an array also here on the top which is just going to be the keys which you would like to listen for because we don't want to listen for all the key strokes from the user okay so instead of typing it manually i'll be just copying it from my javascript one i'll just walk you through it it's nothing fancy here it's just 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 0 plus plus operators and then c enter backspace td that's it now we can come here and say allow values dot includes what value only then calculate expression value cool this is it i guess and i need to call this function also so i'll be doing it in the use effect hook use effect snippet window dot add event listener key down what handle key down then what return is gonna be window dot remove event listener key down handle key down okay this is it so let's see now whether it works fine and let me refresh it on between the save switch okay i'm typing it for keyboard now i'm deleting from keyboard again i can type anything here i can clear also i guess what anyway yeah so if i type any random stuff it's not working anyway <laughs> yeah so 8 into 9 72 so yeah that's it i guess and let us i think maybe i don't think so i've missed anything here okay so that's it i guess uh, we can now just do a build of what have we already done so let me come here get bash so we are going to be using electron builder for building it building this whole application for windows you can try it for other platforms as well like mac and linux uh, let me come and show you the command okay so i'll just copy this nothing much fancy build and build pen and let me okay sorry let me come back when it's done okay okay so it is done as you can see and we can come here and see what has been the output so you can see dist is there let me come to go to reveal in file explorer i am not touching anything else i'll be just touching this calculator act but first of all let me did close this one so it does, we don't get confused let me try to install it as you can see started installing it in our windows in basically in my system and it will by default i think it's going to start once okay as you can see it is there let us start doing it okay so as you can see it's working fine okay and just to be on the same page whether it's there or not in our system as you can see it's coming here also okay so it's a basically a desktop application which we have built okay and obviously i have not handled a lot of edge cases i think you might have seen that edge case which we got when the expression doesn't get evaluated properly okay so anyway this is just for development purposes only so let me know in the comments if you would like me to go more deep into building electron application as well and if you have any ideas or whatever topics you would like me to explore but i think this was it for this video i guess okay and hope to see you for other videos as well and bye